what's so up? Today we are currently over here in Ohio. Um, we picked up this load in Michigan yesterday, Grand Rapids, Michigan, and it's going over to New Jersey. Um, it was about an 11 hour, 11 and a half hour trip. So I drove about five hours yesterday. It don't gotta be there till Friday at 11 o'clock. So that gives us plenty of time to get it over there. Um, we're currently heading to, about to head over into Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania got um, a lot of winter storms going on, a lot of ice. It's supposed to just be getting a lot of winter mix, a lot of rain, a lot of snow, uh, low temperatures, which is gonna turn that all into ice. So I was going to take 80 because we're not allowed to go on 76, but you know, I did my pre-plan. I did my diligence like I'm supposed to, and um, it told us to avoid that right on my GPS. So I let my company know and everything that 80 and 76 are both um, hazardous routes. So GPS is saying don't take those routes, but you know, the company knows best. You know, I'm just trying to give you guys a heads up. So we're just going to head on over here as close as we can get as safely as we can get and we're just gonna shut down if need be. We're about six out, six and a half hours away from New Jersey, our uh, destination in New Jersey. So yeah, we're just gonna keep on trucking and I'll tune back in with you guys here in a little bit. I gotta stop here at the next uh, truck stop. Go ahead and give me some fuel because I'm running a little bit low on fuel. And you know, in the winter time, you definitely do not want to be low on fuel. You want to have as much fuel as you can. I still have plenty of microwavable foods and canned foods and stuff in the truck. Um, I just bought a brand new case of water. So we're good on water and everything and food for the meantime. Um, I, while I'm at the truck stop, I need to get some anti-gels and everything to put down in my fuel tanks um, and in my airlines. So yeah, I'll see you guys whenever we make it over there to the truck stop. Little man just sitting there sleeping. Look at him. Yeah, the last couple days, I guess he's finally got used to being in the truck and stuff. Normally, he would just sleep in the bed in the back left corner where it's nice and dark. I guess that was his safe place. Now he's feeling a little bit more comfortable in the truck. So he comes up here, he sits with me, and while I'm doing my driving and everything, he just chills out. Sometimes he'll bring his toys and everything up here, and he'll play with his toys while we're driving. But yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Now starting to get into the um, storm a little bit. You guys can see the snow and everything. Right now I'm gonna keep on driving because um, the temperature is about 33 degrees. Um, it was a little bit warmer. It was about 38, about 12 o'clock today. So the temperature is starting to drop now, but as of right now, you know, all the water and stuff on the roads are still liquid. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to get as far as I can before the temperatures keep uh, dropping down and you know, all this water frees up. We're gonna keep driving till you know the weather basically tells me you need to go ahead and pull over. I'm about to call 511 uh, to get a little bit of road information. Since I don't have a CB in my truck yet, that's something I'm uh, needing to buy here soon with all the winter driving and everything that I'm gonna be doing. So yeah, a CB is coming to the truck soon. Uh, so I can talk to other drivers, figure out what's going on up the road ahead of me and everything, let other drivers know the same. Yeah, we're just gonna keep on driving as safely as possible and I'll see you guys either later on up the road or when I end up pulling over. I'll let you guys know. Right now we're in dead stop traffic. I don't know what happened. Um, I just went past a truck stop probably like 15 minutes ago and the truck stops, they're going ahead and they're starting to get full. So what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna make it over to my next truck stop and then I'm gonna go ahead and pull over, call the company, let them know. But you know, I already knew this was gonna happen, but I mean, that's part of trucking. So I'm gonna do my job and my due diligence of communicating with the company. I already knew that was gonna be bad weather, but you know, that's trucking for you. So I'm gonna look for the next truck stop and then I'm gonna pull over whenever I make it over there. What it is, I just love me a good tunnel. This is the tunnel over here in Pennsylvania. Off of 76. Tunnels really could be more dangerous than being out on the road just because there's no sun or anything that can actually ever get in these tunnels. Um, I don't know, I don't think they have like heated tunnels or whatever. 
So this water that gets in there can actually freeze pretty easy because if it's 32 degrees outside, imagine what it is inside these tunnels because you know you got the wind blowing through the tunnels, there's no heat going through these tunnels, the sun can never really shine uh, in the tunnels and everything. So this water in here can freeze super duper easy. So these tunnels are probably more dangerous than being out on the road. Trying to go over there. Um, well, we just stopped at the pilot over here on Pennsylvania to get some fuel and everything because we was running low on fuel. And I just got back on the road. And as you guys can see, man, the snow is really coming down now. I'm probably going to go ahead and shut it down for the night, call the company, let them know. I'm almost positive that they already know because um, they had another load on me after I delivered this one over here in New Jersey tomorrow. Um, I was supposed to pick up a load and take it back to Michigan and have it in Michigan by Saturday. But they took that load off of me. So I'm almost positive they already know um, the weather conditions and everything that's going on over here. So yeah, I'm just going to be looking for somewhere to shut down here soon. And I'll see you guys whenever we make it to our destination of where we're going to shut down here for the night or for the next day or however long we gotta shut down. But yeah, this video is gonna definitely be up for you guys on Friday. Man, this is crazy. Rookie driver driving on I-76 during the winter storm. But you know, this is trucking for you at the end of the day. This is giving me the experience that I need for one day to maybe own my own truck. Or this is the experience that I need to get bigger and better opportunities in the trucking industry. Because at the end of the day, as a truck driver, you know, you have to drive in basically any type of weather unless it's too dangerous for you to drive. I just called the 511 number also, and there's a restriction on uh, 76 where you can't go over 50, uh, 45 miles an hour and you gotta have chains on your truck. That restriction saying you gotta have train, chains on your truck is letting me know that the weather is about to get so bad over here you're gonna have to have chains to get out of the situation that it could end up being if you don't have chains so yeah we're gonna go ahead and try to get to a safe haven or just somewhere where we can pull over safely for the night so i'll see you guys whenever we make it to our destination of wherever we're gonna end up so i'll see you guys here i was at the truck stop i had to get some um fuel additive some antifreeze stuff that you put in your fuel so i'm about to jump out throw that in my fuel and call it a night basically yeah. so we had to get this stuff right here and you just put this in your fuel so i don't freeze up some boosts of the week and man they actually coming in handy now so yep god had to give me some boots i don't know how he's feeling about the snow though i guess he likes it so i'm about to take him out let him use the bathroom real quick before it starts getting too snowy and wet because he would not come out and use the bathroom so yeah <laughs> 